Hello, I'm Brandi Agerbeck of LooseTooth.com. I help you reclaim drawing as your best thinking tool so you can see and shape your life and your work in new ways. And it is Tuesday. I am in the studio. This is Studio Tuesday. <laughs> so I'm really excited with what's going on in the studio. I've been putting lots of hours here in my teeny tiny space and um, that is all because Friday, June 1st, is the launch of the Agerbeck Method. The Agerbeck Method is your 90-day visual thinking transformation. So right now, spend a lot of time here recording videos, um, recording videos, setting up shots, uh, making props that are necessary for certain videos to demonstrate certain ideas all about teaching you again how to use drawing as your best thinking tool so behind me is actually the drawing from the very first day's lesson and um, in that very first lesson on day one of 90 is about your success factors so this is a drawing that i made um, to demonstrate to um, walk through these four major components that are your success factors throughout the course. And um, in this particular case, sometimes when I make a drawing, I draw it while I'm recording the video. In this case, I prepped the drawing, so I drew all of it beforehand because I'm trying to keep these videos between 10 and 15 minutes. This one's longer, because you can tell it's chock full of good stuff. Um, but uh, the drawing takes time. So in this case, I prepped the entire drawing and then what I did was I used these circular stickies from um, stick, stick it cards from Neuland and covered up the content. So when I started the video, pretty much all, you know, you could see the figure in the center and you could see success factors, but everything, all this content was covered up by these medium or these large and these medium sticky notes so that I could reveal one uh, one point after the next. So first it started out with a lot of yellow and then it got revealed to be the full drawing. So that's a way to use visuals to have a sense of um, uh, reveal <laughs> as you walk through a drawing. Because if I had this entire drawing up at once, people would be reading all this sort of the different details and not necessarily listening to what I was saying in the moment. So that sense of revealing content as you go is a great way to keep people focused and engaged with what you are teaching or sharing. So that is, um, again, this was video number one. <laughs> I'm doing these out of sequence, so don't get nervous that I'm only on video one uh, with a Friday launch. Um, I've got, I think, about 20 recorded at this point out of the 90. Um, but this, the way I'm structuring it is I have to figure out, like, you know, I can, I can record a bunch of different videos with this particular light setup um, at the wall. So I think, okay, which are the drawings that are big drawings at the wall? Another day I might be recording at my desk that's behind the camera. Another day um, might be up at the pin board, which is here to my right. Um, so again, I'm batching these things together so that I can get a sense of, um, of uh, being in one particular mode for many videos at a time. So I am just the happiest clam. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be spending this time in the studio, you know, outlining these videos, recording these videos, um, then going home and, you know, editing huge batches at once. That's where I'm at right now. I've got a beautiful stack of index cards. Each index card is one video. So I very clearly, when I'm using visual tools, <laughs> Um, what I do is I have an index card for each single video and um, there's a little in a uh, little square in the corner that shows me how far along I am on that video and then I'll have one nearby to show you but um, but then what I very simply do is when I finish the video is they go in a pile that are clipped together that are the to be edited so it's very easy for me to go through that stack and say, oh, here's the next one to edit, here's the next one to edit, here's the next one to edit, and get that sense of accomplishment when things leave that pile into the done pile. Who doesn't love the done pile? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so this is video number one of many, of first of 90 throughout the course. And uh, over here, let me just move my camera a little bit. Uh, behind me here, I've got, um, you can see it, yep. So this is a 
excuse me, this is a whiteboard, a magnetic whiteboard that I'm using to demonstrate two idea shapers, um, the cluster and the buffer. And in the, here's the uh, structure of the Agerbeck method. So here you can see the nine modules we cover in the 90 days. Cluster and the buffer are in proximity. So this drawing behind me is day one when we're talking about canvas. And here is proximity, which is um, where putting similar things close together and dissimilar things far apart. So for this video, I prepped this whiteboard and I took some extra thick, extra thick index cards and some magnets, and I'm able to make these samples of these different concepts and showing the difference, uh, what difference it makes with how much space you put between ideas. So you can see these, this is a cluster all about melons, cluster all about berries, cluster all about tomatoes, citrus, cheese, etc. Um, but you understand these clusters because there's little, these are all hugged close together, clustered together, and then there's, <clears throat> excuse me, these nice, beautiful, big um, buffer spaces around each of those clusters. So that is um, another prop for another lesson in the course. <laughs> Again, we start on June 1st. Um, by all means, if you'd like to join me, we have eight, over 80 people signed up, pre-ordered uh, already from 20 countries, which just blows my frigging mind. <laughs> so, um, so if you want to know more about the course, uh, again, it launches June 1st, it's gonna be open. Like this is not one of those, like you get it before it's gone. It's, it's, this is important. This is a core, core course that I want available all the time for folks to be learning. If you do want to join, if you do want to learn more, check out the agarbeckmethod.com. And wherever you are this Tuesday, I hope you are doing well and making interesting things and drawing.